Hello everyone, my name is Rob and I'm a postdoctoral scientist based in Vienna, Austria. In this video, I check if the readiness score of the Aura Ring could predict my mental and physical state each day over the last year and a half. I will look at many factors, for instance, my blood pressure and how tired I felt each day. In the second part of this video, I will show you what I think is the exact formula of how the readiness score of the Aura Ring is calculated and what this means for the importance of different factors. As always, I don't want to waste your time, so timestamps are in the description below and also on the timeline. Your readiness score is one of the first things you see in the morning when you open the Aura app and also one of the most actionable scores that the Aura Ring provides. It is a measure of your recovery and lets you know if your body is ready for an active day or if it's better to let it recover for a while. I want to find out if the Aura Ring's readiness score is able to predict how well my body and my mind functioned each day. So how do I plan to test this? Well, for the last year and a half, I've been tracking my readiness score with the Aura Ring and I've been tracking a whole bunch of other things that have to do with my body, my mind and my environment. As a data scientist, I can compare these measurements and see if the Aura Ring's readiness score correlated with any of the other measures. All these measurements take about 11 hours a week and are part of a serious scientific project I've been doing for the last three years. If you want to know more, the video I made about it a few weeks ago is linked above and also in the comments. Now, let's see what my findings are for the Aura Ring's readiness score. This graph here might seem a bit confusing at first, but it represents a lot of the measurements that I did over the last three years. So each circle is a single type of measurement I did, and they're connected by lines to the things that they're correlated strongest with in the data. So let's look at an example. For instance, here, this is total bedtime aura. So the total time I spent in bed. And now I highlight the things that it's connected with strongest. So a lot of other things that have to do with sleep, but also for instance, how tired I felt that morning and my temperature in the morning. So there are many measurements in here and I'm not going to go through all of them. Now, the variable that I want to focus on for this analysis is the readiness score of the Aura Ring, which I've highlighted here with a bigger circle. And again, each line here indicates the other variables that this readiness score is associated with so that it correlates with in the data. And we can see there's a lot of variables that have to do, for instance, with sleep and sleep score measured either by the Fitbit or the Aura Ring and also other Aura Ring measurements. But we can also see that it's connected to blood pressure. So somehow the readiness score in the morning is connected to my blood pressure in the morning. So here I plotted my readiness score on the horizontal axis versus my blood pressure on the vertical axis. And each dot here is a single day of measurements. And as you can see, there's a negative correlation. So the higher my readiness score, the lower my blood pressure. But of course, there's still a lot of variation. So it's just a general trend. Let's have a look at the results in a bit of a different way. This is an Excel file showing the association between the readiness score of the Aura Ring and all the other factors. And here they're ordered by their importance. So the strongest association is between the readiness score and the total minutes spent in bed. And we can go down like this. For those of you that like statistics, the p-value is indicated here and the r is indicated here. These are just my morning measurements and as you can see a lot of them have to do with sleep or different aura scores but I want to look at a few that I thought were interesting. I've highlighted these in green and what you can see as we saw before is that the readiness score associates with blood pressure but in addition to looking at the association we can also see in which direction the association goes. So if this value here is negative it means there's a negative association. So the higher my readiness score here the lower my blood pressure since this value is negative. This makes sense because if I slept better, my blood pressure might be lower. Where we also see an association is between my readiness score and between how I subjectively felt I slept. And this is a positive association. So the better I slept, the higher my readiness score. Here we have again two blood pressure measurements. Also my temperature. So the higher my readiness score, the lower my temperature in the morning. That's what's plotted here my readiness score on the horizontal axis and my rectal temperature in the morning on the vertical axis. 
though the negative association we see might also largely be caused by these high temperature measurements here that actually gave me a low readiness score. These were moments where I was a bit sick, which is reflected in my readiness score and my rectal temperature. Also, the better my readiness score, the less anger I feel in the morning, not that I feel anger that much, but maybe the few times that I had some feelings of anger, my readiness score was a bit lower. And finally, we also see that my readiness score associates positively with my hydration. And this hydration was measured with my Nokia Smart Scale. Indeed, you can see that there's a general trend of increased hydration with increased readiness. Now, all these variables that I show here were measured in the morning and have to do with my morning measurements. But I actually made a separate graph for my evening measurements. So let's see what the readiness score associates with for my evening measurements. Now again, we see that the readiness score is associated with a lot of sleep parameters and a lot of aura-based parameters, but there's two other interesting ones here. First of all, it's associated with how tired I felt that day, so at the end of the day I would fill in a questionnaire and score how tired I was, and it's also associated with how sick I felt at the end of the day. And here we see the association between my readiness score and how tired I felt in the evening. So again, this is a question that I answer on a scale of 1 to 100. If I feel very tired, this is a high score. And as you can see, if I had a low readiness score, I felt very tired in the evening. And if I had a good readiness score, I felt less tired in the evening. But the question still remains, how is this readiness score actually calculated? Let's have a look. How is the readiness score actually calculated? Well, on their website, Aura says it's made up out of seven factors. Since I have all the data that the Aura Ring collected on me for the last year and a half, which includes this readiness score and all these factors that I just mentioned, I can actually do some statistics magic and calculate back how important each of these factors are in calculating the readiness score. I won't go into any of the details of how I did this, but first I wanted to see if they used a simple linear formula. So to check that, I built a linear regression model on the data. After looking online at different articles written by Aura, I figured that in the end, it's these eight scores that make up your readiness score. And the code to actually analyze it is quite simple. So let's run it. So in the end, what you see on the bottom here are the estimates of what make up the formula. So let's look at that in a bit more of an easy way. So this is the formula that I think actually estimates your readiness score. So it's 0.25 times your sleep balance score, times 0.15 times your previous night score, and so on. But instead of looking at the formula, which might seem a bit intimidating, we can also just look at the relative importance of each of these individual scores in making the readiness score. And what we see is that the most important part of your readiness score is the sleep balance score, which makes up almost 25% of your readiness score. And this is followed by the previous night score, which is also quite important. So these are both sleep related scores and these are a very important part of your readiness score. After that, we have two scores having to do with your resting heart rate and your heart rate variability, which both make up almost 15% of your readiness score. And after that, we see that several activity related scores are quite important. So the previous day activity, activity balance and recovery index scores. And finally, we see that the least important score is your temperature score, making up a little under 5% of your readiness score. Now the question is, how well can this formula that I made actually predict your readiness score? And that's what I've plotted here. So the readiness score is on the horizontal axis and my predicted readiness score is on the vertical axis. And each measurement here, each single day is a dot here. And these are hundreds of measurements. And as you can see, there's almost perfect agreement between the actual readiness score and what my model says the readiness score should be. Now there are some slight deviations here, but I think these are mostly due to rounding errors. So the scores that I get from Aura are all rounded to full numbers, whereas they probably have scores with decimals in them. And that will cause some slight deviations. I cannot explain these points that are a bit further, but there are only three out of a few hundred points. So there might be some artifact there. To test my model on independent data, a colleague of mine was actually nice enough to let me use his Aura data. He's been wearing an Aura ring for over two years, so let's see how well it agrees for him. That's what I've plotted here. I've used the exact same formula as before, and there are several hundred data points here. And as you can see, all of them agree almost perfectly. There's two points here that deviate. Again, I think there is some artifact here, I'm not sure what. But overall, I'm pretty convinced that I figured out the formula that Aura uses to calculate your readiness score. And of course, if you want, you can also check this yourself. You can download all your data from Aura, get it into an Excel sheet and use my formula to reproduce my model and see if it matches Aura's readiness score. 
I do think that the readiness score holds some potential value, or at least it does for me. The fact that it correlated with my blood pressure and also with how tired I felt that day means that it's somehow connected with how my body and my mind performed. So how could you actually use your readiness score? Well, I think it could serve as a potential starting point for planning your day. It gives you some indication of how recovered you are. Personally though, I would combine it with how I subjectively feel that morning. And I would probably give a bit more weight to my feelings since our body senses are pretty advanced technology too. So what do you think? Has the Aura Rings readiness score helped you plan your day and how have you used it to plan your day? Let us know in the comments below. In my videos, I do scientific tests on different devices like the Aura Ring, the Fitbit and the ScanWatch. And in the end, I hope to use tracking to improve my life. So if you like that subject and like this video, consider subscribing to my channel and also consider giving it a thumbs up because it makes it easier for other people to find my videos. Finally, before I end the video, I do need to mention some of the limitations of the methods I use in this video. First of all, all the measurements that were done were done on my body, so I don't know if everything translates to other people. Second, I'm still processing some of the data that I've collected over the last three years, so it could be that there are more associations that I haven't found yet because I couldn't include them yet in this analysis. Third, I used a simple Pearson correlation for some of the analysis, and it could be that a more complicated analysis would be able to find more associations, so this is also something I want to look into in the future. Finally, and this is a very important point, I usually do not check my readiness score in the morning, so it cannot really have influenced my behavior or my body over that period. Though there have been one or two days where I did check it, so those days there could have been an effect of knowing my readiness score on my measurements. But generally this should not have been the case. For now, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.